on my sewing vlog today, the overlocker of my dreams. Good morning beautiful people, I'm Alex and this is Ginger Head & Co, my sewing vlog. Let me tell you a story about a little girl and a big machine. 18 months ago I went to the knitting and stitching show I think and I casually tried an industrial overlocker. I knew that I couldn't buy an industrial overlocker because I only have a small sewing room where we are now. But uh, well I tried it and I loved it and as you know love conquers all. So for 18 months I just I couldn't stop thinking about it not that I need an overlocker not that I desperately wanted to have something industrial because I don't do industrial sewing at all but you, you really you do not argue with love and I fell in love so a few months ago I decided that if I reduce my flock of my sewing machines and overlockers and cover stitch machines I can fit the industrial overlocker that I really really liked into my sewing room into my small sewing room and uh, I decided to buy it it wasn't easy and you probably know it wasn't easy because there was a video about my fail in buying an industrial overlocker and that should teach me a lesson because I normally buy my mach machines either from Franklin's like this one or from Frank Nat and uh, I've always been very happy with them <laughs> with both companies so well after the initial <laughs> problems with buying the, the one that I wanted the one I fell in love with the one that purred to me the one that was just my destiny I decided to wait till the bloke from Franklin's comes back from his holiday <laughs> no holidays you, you shouldn't take any holidays and I bought it from Franklin's and I'm very happy with Franklin's I'm very very happy with uh, the customer service I'm very happy with all the information they gave me all the choices because the the overlocker had to be built for me I mean it's nothing special it just you choose the features the additional features that you want it's not for elite <laughs> everybody can have the same overlocker built um, so well I, I chose what I wanted and uh, that's a luxury version of an industrial overlocker um, and I'm very happy with everything about Franklin's and I'm more than happy with the overlocker it really is the beast um, the thing of my dreams the best thing that has ever happened to me sort of but my shopping experience was marred by the delivery company um, it's not very pleasant so um, I'll keep it short but um, but I think Franklin's should definitely reconsider who they use to deliver the, their machines because I was really upset my machine 1500 pounds worth of uh, a machine 100 kilos uh, was just dumped on the pavement um, and uh, the driver was extremely rude he lied to me he lied to his boss on the phone because I could hear that um, saying that he had to push it through um, the curb and all that and well the curb is next to my house well anyway I convinced him finally to leave it in my front garden to push it about half a yard seriously um, behind the, the gate uh, he definitely refused to to help me bring it into the house but okay well I finally got it right and I'm extremely happy and I, I couldn't be happier with the, the overlocker the only bad 
thing was the delivery and it was extremely bad but that's over now done and dusted never mind so i've got my baby i don't know how to show you because we are in my sewing room and uh, my sewing room is first of all as you can probably notice is uh the light here is not really camera friendly and and it's not a very big place this is the overlocker i'll do close-ups so you will see my baby my beautiful little thing that is kind of twice the size of me well maybe not the size but it weighs a lot it's very very heavy and it's very very sturdy yeah. So let me tell you what it is. It's, as you can see, it's Juki. You can probably see it from here. Uh, it's M06714. Um, well, it's 6700 series. So, and mine is for thread, two needles, overlocker. So it's 6714. And uh, it's semi dry, so it means that. It, well, the risk of splashing any oil is reduced, which is brilliant, I think. And um, it's meant to be for light to medium weight fabric. I sewed through six layers of scuba, no problem whatsoever. I sewed through six layers, I don't know why six, it's just when you fold it, you fold it once, then you fold it twice, you know. Um, so six layers of heavy denim no problems whatsoever so i have no idea what they mean when they say heavy duty probably just for like leather or something like that can you tell that i'm excited i can't even get the words out properly because it's it's my dream it is my dream yes with the servo motor that i want it which means it's really fast it's very quiet um, when I record it, it, it doesn't sound that quiet, but it's just purring. It's much quieter than my baby lock, than my Juki overlocker. Much more quiet than my bro brother uh, overlocker. It's just quiet. <laughs> but, but, well, that was less important. The most important thing for me was that it's perfect. It's just perfect. It works like a dream and I sat down and started surging, overlocking. Overlocking is surging, sorry for everybody in the States. I'm not very good with, well, English is not my first language, so forgive me. Um, I struggle with, well, adapting to American English. Um, so, well, anyway, back to my baby, back to my beauty. I am slightly mad about machines and uh, I simply love them. I just love the way they, they work and if the stitch is perfect, it just, it makes me happy. I could spend ages just watching the work of the machine. I love them. Can you tell? So, well, that's the baby and yes, it's fully submerged. That's the <laughs> luxury version. It, well, I think that the table, the difference between the normal table and the table that makes it fully submerged um, is 150 pounds. So it is sort of luxury. Um, but, but this is the last, last machine I will ever buy. I have no space. And that's it. It's got a lot of safety features. I'm going to try and show you some close-ups. Um, of my baby because i don't think you are going to be able to to see anything um i'm not sure if you have industrial sewing machine or machines um but uh, i'll show you something because it's got the manual but that's my second new industrial sewing machine um, so um, I know that manuals are interesting. All the other languages are together. And for some reason, the only manual that I prefer, uh, that like you've got all in one, you don't have to leaf through to find the language that you want. And it's in Russian. Почему? Я понимаю, но почему по-русски? So uh, I can either read it in Russian, I know it's a Cyrillic alphabet, as you can probably guess, 
um, or live through to find the English version or, or whatever version of the language's version in the manual. And the manual is that that's it. <laughs> that is it, all the parts and everything. There is a tiny little leaflet about the, the servo motor. So uh, that's, that's it. it. There isn't much information um, out there um, for any industrial overlocker or sewing machine. I don't mind because I started learning about my baby, my baby the beast, um, about half a year ago. So I know a bit and I'll learn the rest as I overlock and I will probably overlock everything all the time. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and, uh, and do some close-ups and explain what's what. So hopefully we're not going to have any accidents, but well, let me open that. Okay. So, well, you've got the tension knobs here, the tension discs for the four threads. That's the thread stand. That's the presser foot, uh, presser regulation and you can open the machine um, so well first let's say that you want to remove you want to get the foot out of the way and there is a lever that you press I can't do it one-handed so you press the lever and uh, you get the foot out of the way right And then you can see what's inside. You can open the machine. You can't see that. You can open the machine like any other overlocker. And in here, you've got this black button. If you press the button and move that, that um, regulates the differential feed. That so it goes up or down, right? Okay, what else? That's that's a cool thing for the um, excess fabric. It goes here, and then it goes <laughs> to my IKEA uh, bowl because I haven't got the bucket yet. Well, obviously you can open that, and you can see that I've been using it. Um, yes, I have. And uh, you've got the threading here. How to thread it? Yeah. And what else? There is this lower looper thing that apparently is like double chain or something, but uh, but I don't really know much about it. Right. Let's close that. Oops. Yeah. How do people vlog? One handed. How? Ah. One more thing, there is the stitch length regulator here, right? So you can have one, two, three, four, and then L long or something. Well, I mean longer. <laughs> and what else? Oh. Um, and uh, you pour oil here. You check the oil levels here. And that's pretty much it. So, and because it's fully submerged, you can sew heavy things like coats and they don't well the fabric doesn't pull down so the stitch doesn't get distorted so that's my baby and uh, the motto is here i really doubt that you want to know anything about the mo motor but uh, the best thing about well juki overlockers is the pedals this one um, lifts the foot, this one, and this one, oh, and this one, well, you can program it, but um, yeah, I, I only got it a few days ago, so I don't know everything. I know that um, if you press here, you end with needles down or then, there are three ways of programming, needles down, down, needles up or needles as they were when you started to so either up or down. And, uh, and here you can regulate the speed, obviously. So you, as in any other machine. And you've got the regulator here as well. So you can decide if you want to limit 
um, the number of stitches per minute because you are afraid that you are going to lose your fingers. Right. So this is for programming the overlocker. So this is me in love with my new overlocker. It shows through everything. It's it just it's perfect. I saw it that uh, the difference between my domestic overlockers and my domestic overlockers are really good. I've got the ovation that can be used as an overlocker. I had the Juki um, 753. Oh, you can't buy it in the UK. I haven't got it now. I had the brother. I have a brother overlocker that is going. Um, well, I, I kind of thought there couldn't be anything better, really. Like baby log Juki, they, they really make good overlockers. <laughs> I was wrong. This is just a different class of of an overlocker. I'm so in love <laughs> that I know that for most people this is just rubbish but not for me. This is me excited. This is me in bliss. Um, there is nothing better that can happen to me sewing wise. This is my sewing paradise and generally my my sewing room is my paradise. This is my safe space and I feel happy here. And I wanted to share my happiness with you, obviously. My arm is aching. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. And see you soon.